Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Train here. Today is April 22nd, Monday. I'll be going over my recap for today. So today I have a red day recap and I fought MBRX in the front side of the move uh, trying to pick the top, which is in my go-to strategy. Um, but I made a few mistakes there. Um, so let's get started. Uh, so there's JMIA. Uh, JMIA, I saw um, I saw a flag here and on the daily, uh, I saw I had room, uh, it was a green candle kind of uh, during the day, uh, during this move here. Um, so I thought it was gonna do some bounce on the 9 EMA here on the day. Um, and then what I saw was, I was trying to buy this uh, uh, flag break here. Uh, I bought there, then I kind of downsized since I went a little bit uh, too big of a size and it, and as you know, uh, JMIA was pretty, uh, the spread is pretty high, so it's a little difficult to trade. So I should avoid trading this overall. Um, but pretty much I downsized there and it stopped out. I ended up breaking a flag uh, here um, with a little bit of volume and it broke above a uh, higher day, um, but I wasn't there for that. But pretty much stopped out, uh, downsized here and stopped out there for uh, $26 boss. Um, keg, K E G. Um, so I saw this trending up, um, and then it had it had some room for the five minute to pull back. So what I saw was this five thirty seven break here. Uh, as you can see, little cup and handle. Uh, started in early. I uh, started short there with my wrist off of five forty seven, which was this previous pivot high here. Um, end up covering so it was a 10 cent risk and ended up covering around 520s and 530s uh, and then covering the rest of my quarter shares there and that was just a $39 winner um, MBRX so MBRX I started uh, I started the day with uh, a long trade here so uh, I saw this um, kind of cup and handle or flag break here um, during this uh, pre-market high to the morning high here. And I bought the break of that high, uh, the breakout, you see the increase in volume. Uh, and I, I just sold along the way and pretty much uh, finished my trade there uh, with a $78 winner. And then the bad part comes in. Um, so I started uh, shorting when I saw this kind of double top and is making this uh, kind of cup and handle here. And I started short there. Um, I wanted to either retest it this uh, trend line or this uh, support here or VWAP. Uh, I ended up just uh, pushing down a little bit and then pulling back up and I pretty much stopped out or break even there on the short side. Um, and then uh, here's where I try to pick a top. Um, as you can see um, on the five minute trend here, uh, it was pretty much holding trend throughout the whole day on the five minute. And pretty much I was trying to short the front side, which is a really bad idea. Um, but you can see here, I started short here, um, added and then cover. I started short here and cover uh, short here cover and then uh, kind of pick the top here but it was just a scalp cover and then a short again here and cover so pretty much four shorts here and pretty much took me out for a total of 276 dollar loss um, the good thing is um, each of these I stopped out um, per my plan uh, which is good but um, because I was uh, 0 for 4, um, it turned out to be a bigger loss uh, when you add them all up. Um, so lesson learned is to not uh, short the front side of the move, uh, especially in the larger time frame when it's trending um, and still holding, uh, you know, the 15 minute EMA uh, and the 5 minute EMA. So here's where the 15 EMA broke, um, and that's probably during after hours. Um, but um, lesson learned and 
you probably need to um, you know take take some losses with you uh, to carry with you in the future uh, just so you can learn your lesson so as always um, if you enjoy watching this and following my adventure um, don't forget to subscribe like and comment thank you bye bye